Tony Jones here for Rhode Island Free Radio, online at rifreeradio.org. We are broadcasting live from the Fat Squirrel in luxurious. The roads look beautiful here in Providence, Rhode Island. Joining me here live is DJ Psycho Eddie from My Night Out Radio. Hello, DJ everybody. Psycho Eddie, good evening. And, of course, we have Dave Fisher and Pat, the PO taxpayer Ford, from the Coalition Talk Radio, online at Coalition Radio. Dot US. They are here with me this evening live. Gentlemen. Tony, I, I was admiring the lunar landscape. Not up in the sky, but right here on the streets of Providence. <laughs> I'm, in. I'm parked between a snowbank and another snowbank and uh, a snowbank. Mayor Alorza, wherever you are, whatever ribbon you're cutting, whatever groundbreaking you're attending, you must be very, very proud, as are. Importantly the enough, the Mayor Alorza sandwich is being launched a little later this week, if you haven't heard. And, and what, my God, is <laughs> in the Mayor Alorza sandwich? So I want to hand it over to you, P.O., and the coalition folks for a little while because you have been covering all things cannabis for quite some time now. Right. I mean, this is this. What a wonderful turned out, first of all. I mean, we're here to celebrate the life of Corey. We're also here to celebrate a cause, which is really becoming mainstream here in Rhode Island. I think we were all impressed, amused, amazed by the notion that Rhode Island is the number one cannabis consumer, if you will, here in the United States. I think that explains a lot. <laughs> you know, both, it'd be clear that the chronic... Is not just a representation of politicians' mores here in this town. It be what they be smoking. Um, so it, it's it's. It, but what a great turnout and what a great cause. You know, it, it's this has taken over Rhode Island. I think. You know, you've got people from all walks of lives, fessing up, admitting to a whole lot of things. And and one of them is, I think we all agree that it's time to legalize cannabis here in Rhode Island. But I want to get Dave, my my my. my Coalition Radio co-host Dave Fisher. Dave, what, what, what's your thoughts about the scene here tonight? The, the scene here tonight is uh, among the most chill I've seen in a club for a while. Quite a few people here, even on a snowed-in Friday evening. It was really kind of disturbing driving in here tonight because uh, many of the conversations that you and I have had, uh, a lot of my friends and I have had about all the snow is what a terrible impact of the economy it is here in Rhode Island, and uh, I think that, that that deserves some some attention here in the state. Um, you know, get on out when you can. Go to your local places if you can walk. If it, if it's not too far of a drive, these businesses out here are suffering uh, in this uh, snowbound climate. So so get on out there and, and do your thing. Support your causes. Support your local businesses. Right. I mean, what, there's still plenty of time to get out here to the Fat Squirrel on Chestnut Street in downtown Providence. You got hours of rock and roll. You know, demon alcohol is flowing freely. There's plenty of young ladies here who are also celebrating the cause. You know, if, if you're sitting homebound right now on the east side of Providence, what you need to say is, Lovey, it appears the heathens are having a good time doing the way out over at the Fat Squirrel. So and perhaps we should do a little slumming, as it were, enjoying them. Maybe you get uh, take a little of that, uh, what they call that, Mary Jane? And that's yes, coming. Yes, let's go down there and, <laughs> and, you know, gallivant with the 99%. <laughs> and that's wait, coming from the whitest, most unhippest guy possibly. If, if he can be out here wait, tonight. Wait, wait, is that Link Chafee I see across the room? I, you know, they're going to be several celebrity sightings here, some real, some imagined. Some are just making up to see if we can piss people off and to see who's listening. But I think I see Link Chafee here dressed up in his, is that his jodhpurs? Is that now, his English riding outfit? Is that what Stephanie wants him to wear tonight? To, to well, no, it's, it's, a, it's a whole like local event. So he's actually over in the corner you know, with the blacksmith doing the whole like shoot horseshoe, trying thing not there. to get He's, kicked in the head, <laughs> farri farriering, whatever that is. Well, and, and you can tell by the background, the music is great here tonight. Now, unfortunately, getting back to Mr. Chafee, who uh, you know I am may not be politically fond of, but I'm personally fond of. Uh, I'm friendly with his wife, of course, and he was uh, on vacation. And they were kind enough to post up pictures of Link in his swim trunks, gallivanting Whoa. in the Atlantic Ocean. Talk about things you can't unsee. 
<laughs> Definitely well, maybe, an so SFW, maybe, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe if I put my swing trunks on, that'll, that'll mitigate the situation. <laughs> there will in no way in those two swim trunks than anyone needs to see. You, there will, in, under no circumstances, be a men of the coalition <laughs> oh, <laughs> calendar. Oh, style calendar. Anytime soon. That would be fantastic. Of course. PO's month would fold out like a road map, but <laughs> <laughs> mine would be the first eight page <laughs> centerfold. <laughs> kind of like the dark side of the moon. <laughs> <laughs> but but again, what a great cause. Let's get as I was saying, what a great cause here tonight. By the way, this is the coalition. What do we say? Unplugged. Unplugged, unhinged, uncensored. uncensored. <laughs> so just first of all, can I can I break the ice here? Since we normally broadcast from the state studios of Cumulus Broadcasting on the Wampanoag Trail in scenic Riverside, Rhode Island, where we have to attain a high level of FCC competent and compatible communications, can I be the first one to say, fuck you, Governor Raimondi? <laughs> I just had to get that off my chest. Which, by the way, to get to said studios, there's a death-like turn that you have to take if you're coming from the oh, south. Oh, it's not the turn that kills you. It's the merge. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. This, so. pa this, this past election season, I decided to uh, place some illegal signs out on the Wampanoag Trail, and as I jumped out of my car and ran across Wampanoag Trail with signs under my arms, uh, I took my life into my own hands this year. Well, you know, do you have anything? Do you have a message maybe to Mayor Lisa slash hyphen Baldelli slash hyphen slash oh, on, the, on slash the uncensored on? show yeah. um, uh oh sure uh, your your period of <laughs> benefit of the doubt is long since over <laughs> uh, you know you, you've exhausted that and proven to me that you have absolutely no credibility no moral compass and uh, zero zero initiative as far as what it's going to take to revive the city of Woonsocket within the state of Rhode Island um, it doesn't matter how many times you meet with Ms. Raymundi, as my co-host likes to call her. Um, and it doesn't matter how many proclamations get signed by the lieutenant governor or directing the lieutenant governor to do anything. Because uh, this is all work that should have been done in the first place. So if you expect us to pat you on the back for doing the stuff that you were supposed to do, tough shit. Guys, who, who is the most appalling politician on this political scene in Rhode Island today? You know where I'm at on this. <laughs> Come on. Oh, st the speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Paulie Walnuts, Nikki Schlick, Nikki Mattiello, the Pinky Ring King, the champion, the champion of, 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 of the broken noses that still inhabit the darkest dwellings, the darkest denizens, the deepest caverns of Halitosis Hall, otherwise known as the State House in the state of Rhode Island. Uh, hey, this, this, here's, okay, here's my impression. Hey, I'm going to go to a Chamber of Commerce event in Northern Rhode Island and, and just use Republican talking points because, you know, I'm a Democrat. Right, and, and long-standing Democrat Joe Trillo, one of his biggest supporters, would be there to support and applaud him, right? Of course he would, because he'd be stupid to do otherwise. Did you see what happened to Maria Semini? Yeah. Oh! oh. <laughs> and that's where we get on the call, is the word Semini. Andrew Dice Mattiello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Andrew Dice Mattiello. Do we have to go home tonight? Can we just do this all night? <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. As you know, P.O., I went to the early in the election season, before I even knew I was going to run, I went to, as a guest of Matt Fecto, to the Democratic Party party where they were kind of vetting all their candidates and whatnot, and I felt like I was at a Republican rally. I mean, the, the talking points were, Dave's right, the talking per points were very conservative. It was weird to see. Yeah, yeah, let's see how we can squeeze more money out of the poor, the middle class. Those middle class are particularly ripe. Let's let's squeeze them until they until they until they say uncle. <laughs> yeah, no, it's um you know, Dave and I are, are you know, we co host the coalition, by the way, which you can hear on Sunday mornings at ten AM on AM seven ninety, your source for news business and otherwise mediocre radio. But hey, if you if you choose to Now listen, listen to why are there so many PSAs during your broadcast? Why <laughs> <laughs> Let me get on our crack sales staff. That. <laughs> yes, your advertising opportunities abound. We do take trade, pizza, beer, 
Yeah, it all works. Especially beer. We Especially like beer. beer. Yep. Which, by the way, bringing it back to tonight's subject at hand, which is surprisingly enough cannabis, I've been talking to some folks and the traditional media outlets and even some alternative media, folks who I would have think know better, are nervous about accepting advertising dollars from Juana and about that. Well, I mean, first of all, we're not nervous about anything. We just don't know better. The uh, we believe that the Coalition is the only radio right. show on quote unquote mainstream AM radio in New England that routinely supports and advocates for the legalization of marijuana here and, and hemp related products. Is that you know? why your time slot sucks so bad? Exactly. <laughs> we catch people while they're at church. The <laughs> so. To, to us, it's a fundamental part of our show. You know, I represent the libertarian viewpoint. Dave represents the Green Party perspective. We we to the odd couple thing. I'm definitely Felix. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, here's the point. There are a lot of causes that represent have have real economic, political, and social impact here in the state of Rhode Island. We're, we cover them. We cover subjects that no one else will touch. We've got coming on a serious discussion in the next few weeks from representatives of Coyote, talk about legalization of prostitution, legal, you know, and better treatment for sex workers. We've got serious, and, and despite well, the, the let's tenor of let's run, run let's run down the, the shows we have coming up this weekend. We have Liz Tabor, right, from uh, No Casino RI Group, right. which, which has been fighting table games. In Rhode Island since and, and, before and, Tony Jones was born, right, I think. And the whole pinky ring. Uh, we, uh, following that, we have uh, Tim Faulkner, who's a, a, an editor for EcoRINews.org. Uh, he's going to be in talking to us about the Spectra natural gas pipeline and the plans to actually take a good bit of that natural gas out of New England and export it out of the country, uh, which is a story he uncovered this week. Uh, after that, we have uh, Scott Gibbs, who is one of the foremost economic development thinkers in New England, probably even the country at this point, um, talking to us about all the, the bevy of quote, jobs and economy bills coming through the General Assembly. And then the week following that, we're hoping to have, uh, we've nailed down Bill Rapley from Channel 10 to come into the show. And we want to nail down a, a couple other people to do a show on the state of the media in the state and, and really what's expected out of journalists in today's day and age. Right. And, and in past weeks, we've discussed, for example, you know, hot-button issues like the criminalization of civil disobedience. We've talked about hemp and marijuana products. We've talked about free speech. You know, all the issues that the mainstream media either doesn't have the savvy or, quite frankly, the intellect discuss, or, frankly, is worried about their either their subscriber base, their advertiser base, they're worried about offending someone. More importantly, they're worried about the loss of access. They have become such wimps politically that they're pretty well willing to do anything so that they can get, you know, the pinky ring blessing from the folks like of the likes of Nikki, Polly Walnuts, Mattiello. I mean, they're so afraid to piss everyone off that they accomplish nothing. They become meaningless. They become really specters. It's 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 entertainment tonight has become Rhode Island news in a state like Rhode Island where there is there is turmoil, there is dissent, there is corruption, there is it's just out and out near collapse of just about every civic foundation in the state. We still have the state news media afraid to ask the most basic questions about whether the streets are getting plowed. Does anybody out there have any balls? Well, months and months ago, PO, we talked with. Um, Mr. Rickman about the voter situation on Block Island, how they had a 150 <laughs> correctly uh, voter registration problem. And so we saw a quote-unquote new Secretary of State come in and the vote. Now, this is just fundamental democracy stuff. The voter list, the voter rolls in this state are an abysmal mess. We have a new Secretary of State and the crickets just like the marijuana in this very building, are chirping. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, it's the current Secretary of State. I mean, the jury is still out. We, we have no idea, other than expressing 